Hello and welcome to our first tutorial. Here you're going to know what all of the uh, stock market charts mean. Um, now this is actually referred to as a candlestick chart. Uh, the reason for that is if you look at all of these, especially look at this little pattern here, it actually resembles in a way um, a, a candle. Um, the green bit here is like the wax and the little bit at the top is like the wick. So that's why it's called a candle and you quite often hear the term candlestick chart and this is basically what it is. Um, if you look, you always have the, the time um, at the bottom, so what day it is, um, and uh, so we, we know we're in February and what day in February, and on the right hand side of the uh, chart you have the price going upwards. Um, right, so if we look at uh, this here, now with candlestick charts, red means bad, so we know it went down that day, and this is actually today, you might see uh, the bottom of this red candle moving, that's because it's live price. Um, it opened here, so red is bad, so we know it, the top of the uh, red candle is where it opened, and this is where it currently is, at the bottom of the red candle. So we know it opened at that price, if you look at the right of your screen it tells you what price it opened. Um, it went up a little bit, which is what give us the wick, but we won't worry about that just now. Um, because if you go to the top of the wick, it does show you the higher today. But the main thing to focus on at the moment is the actual the wax of the candle, so the actual body of it, which is coloured at the moment. Uh, this is where it's currently, if, if uh, the price of gold was to close, um, that is where the, uh, the price would close. Um, the reason why we have several candles is because uh, the stock market uh, is only open for a certain amount every day. Um, now with a green candle, we know it opened at the bottom of that green candle. Um, because green is good, so it went up that day. So if you put your cursor on the um, the bottom of that green candle, it'll tell you what price it opened at. And then at the top of the green candle, the top of the body of the green candle, that's the price that it closed at that day. So the price of gold, because this is the contract, uh, the price of the uh, gold contract, um, closed at this this uh, price. So what we've got here is quite a small little candle. Um, so what does that mean? Well basically it means that, uh, that the price opened at the top and it closed at the bottom. But um, we didn't have much price movement that day. That's probably because the buyers and the sellers couldn't really agree um, on what was going to happen. Um, if you get a lot of buyers, um, what basically happens is it pushes the price up. If you get a lot of sellers and there's more sellers than buyers, then they'll mark the price down, they'll bring the price down to attract buyers. That's basically what causes uh, price movements on any given share or commodity. Um, right, what we have here is um, a big, big green candle. Um, basically what that means is that the, obviously the price opened here, and it went up quite a lot, so the buyers was in control on that day, there was a lot of buy-in, um, no matter what the seller's done, um, the buyers just kept buying the, the uh, contracts or the shares off of them and we closed right above on, on top there. Um, at a distance, if you don't really know what these charts mean, they can look quite confusing, but the way that I've broken it down for you, you it's quite easy to actually know what's going on, isn't it? A green candle means the price opened and went up and closed at the top, and uh, a red candle means that it goes down. Um, now what happens if there's no colour? What happens if there's a candle with no green or no red? Well, it's quite simple. It basically means that it opened and closed exactly the same price. Um, this does happen quite often. It does represent a bit of indecision. But what you typically get is you get an open price. You'll get the wicks at the top of the candle and the bottom to show that it moved up. It then moved down and then it closed right where it opened. And that's where you get no colour. So if you ever see a candle with no colour, it opened and closed at the same price. If you actually see here, um, as you can see, the price that it opened at on this day, um, it closed higher and then opened and closed higher. And that gives us a bit of an uptrend. Um, and on the contrary, we've got um, the red candles which show that basically what's happening here is that it's opening and closing and then it's opening the next day and closing even lower and you get a bit of a descending downtrend and that's basically what's uh, 
what's happening on here as well as you can see um, the sellers are overpowering the buyers at the moment people just want to offload and, and sell for whatever reason um, right what we'll show you here is um, the thing with these candles is that uh, on their own collectively they don't particularly mean much um, but you can get candles like this one where it opened and absolutely dropped but the buyers actually came in and pushed the price back up now that is quite a strong reversal it means if you've been going down for a while and you get one of these candles the chances are it will start a bit of an uptrend now it would have caught a few people out on gold because it didn't happen straight away but as you can see the price actually went higher um, now with these um, candles as I mentioned earlier what they are is a little bit like stars in the sky um, if you see one star in the sky it doesn't really mean much but if you see them all together collectively you can recognize certain patterns like Orion's belt and things like that um, what you can actually get on the um, stock market is you can get these candles form in certain patterns um, and what they can do is show you that there's likely to be a, um, a price movement in a certain direction like if you look at this um, the pattern that I'm just about to show you just here you can see that each little candle is going up and then it comes back down that's forming like a star constellation that is forming a pattern that a trader would recognize that is a continuation pattern that's exactly what happened the price went up afterwards so um, stay tuned and we'll uh, teach you a little bit more about these patterns there are two versions of the candlestick charts and we actually favor this uh, version um, as you can see on this chart it's exactly the same thing but there's no colors um, the reason why I like to use this is that uh, sometimes I find the colors a little bit distracting and they, they sort of revert your attention away from patterns that are forming. Um, and this is the way I was pretty much taught. Um, with these, uh, these are still pretty much called, uh, well you can call them candles or bars, but basically instead of having a green body, on the left hand side of the stick gives you the price it opened at. Again we've got the dates at the bottom, uh, price on the right hand side as before. Um, the stick shows you the price movement going up or down and on the left hand side it shows you the opening price um, on the right hand side it shows you the closing price um, so that's basically what it means it means it's exactly the same thing it's just some people prefer this way to the other way um, so as you can see uh, closes on the right hand side of the candle again opens on the left hand side of the candle and goes upwards and finishes on the right hand side of the candle so left hand side is the opening price right hand side is the closing price uh, which is quite simple so if you look on the right hand side of the screen it tells you the price it opened um, put your cursor on the um, right hand side of the candle it shows you on the right hand side of the screen what price it closed at um, same sort of thing um, if you have a down day if you look um, opened at the left hand side of the little stick and closed on the right hand side of the little stick um, so it's quite simple um, it's a lot easier to I find uh, to uh, see patterns um, on these like this little pattern here it's called an inverted head and shoulders we'll teach all about this but uh, I just find it easier to to see the pattern so that's the reason why we uh, favor this uh, version of chart 